How do you swap colors on infrared images in Darktable? How do you create presets in Darktable? I'll show you how. Are you interested in learning more about infrared photography? Check out my book. Details are at the end of this video. Swapping colors for infrared images is something that changed from Darktable 3 to Darktable 4. What we want to do is go up to our module search and type in color. And this will show me all of the modules that match color. So if I go down to color calibration, this is actually the channel mixer. Basically, it's it's the channel mixer by another name. You see I have a R channel that is set to output R, a G channel for green set to output green, and a blue channel set to output blue. So what I can do here is I can adjust these manually if I like. So for example, I could take this slider and drag it. Now you'll notice that the sliders can be a little bit tricky to work with, it can be hard to get a precise value, just normally dragging. If I double click any setting, it'll go back to its default setting. That's the first important thing to know. If I hold down the shift key, it will make adjustments in not quite whole tenth increments. And this, this happens in all of the tools within, within Darktable. You can hold down the shift key to adjust how the slider works. Not whole numbers, but fractions of whole numbers that are, that are more manageable. So that's one approach. And then I'll double click here. The last approach is to use the control key, and that will give you a fine-grained adjustment. So you can see the, the slider is not moving quite as far as the mouse is. So that gives you some fine grain control. After clicking a slider, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the slider in precise increments. When holding down the shift key and using the left or right arrow key, the slider is adjusted in larger increments. When holding down the control or command key and using an arrow key, the slider is adjusted in smaller increments. Using a combination of the slider, double clicking to reset, the shift key to move in increments and the control key to move in finer increments, you should have all of the tools that you need to make a setting. Now for the color calibration, fortunately there's a preset available. So if I go up to this little hamburger menu, these three dashed lines, various film simulation style presets, but there's actually some channel swapping down here. And if I go down, I can see channel swapping the green and blue channel. And if I select that, then this is the result that I get. If I select the green and red swapping, then this is the result that I'll get. If I select swap R and B, then this is the result that I get, something you may be more familiar with with a pretty typical infrared photo. So this swapped the channels. If I go to the red channel, you could see it's now outputting blue. If I go to the blue channel, you could see that it's now outputting red. So let's say I want to split the green channel to both red and blue because maybe I like the look of that. So I can take this and I'll hold down the shift key to make it easier to get the green. It's a little finicky to get exactly to zero. Blacks out my image, but that's only temporary. And now I can take the red channel and take it up to 0.5. You can already see that's got a nice look. And I could take the blue channel up to 0.5. So basically now I'm splitting out the green channel 50% to red, 50% to blue. Split green channel has a really nice look to it with, with a blue sky and this kind of yellow, orange, soft color here in the palm trees. Now, what, one of the things that I can do now that I have this, let's say I don't want to be fidgeting with these sliders all the time, I can create a preset for this. So if I go down back to the hamburger preset menu, I can select store new preset and I could say swap red and B and then I'll say split G. So I'm swapping the red and the blue and then I'm going to split out the green channel and I will hit OK. So now this preset is available. If I go back into the hamburger menu, you can see that that is now available. So I can switch between this look and this look. And I could have a variety of settings. Maybe maybe I want to shift the green channel all the way to red, or I want to shift the green channel all the way to blue. I could save each of those as a preset and then quickly have access to all of those settings right here in Darktable. Now there's another way that I can actually adjust colors as well. So let me disable color calibration for the time being. I can close that by clicking on the name itself. Now I want to go up to the color balance RGB, which is up here because I'm still kind of searched by color. So all the color modules are showing up color RGB. And if I open this up, there's a lot of options available, but the main one that you'd want to pay attention to is on this master tab, the shift hue, make sure the modules turned on and I can take my hue and I can drag it to see a variety of colors. Now, if I drag it all the way to 
180 or negative 180. This is very similar to a hue saturation adjustment layer in Photoshop where you do the same thing, set the hue to 180. So I could take that and that could be my color swap. Or I could take any variety of settings along the way that would go from zero to 180 or even to negative 180. So you could see a variety of color looks. So if you like a style that appears any of these colors along this path, then you could use that as well. So if you want to use the hue shift, you can do that in the color balance RGB. Previously, there was an invert option in uh, Darktable that allowed you to invert your image. That invert option was deprecated in version 3.4 and has now been replaced with a, a new tool called the Nega Doctor for, for negative adjustments to, to negative film. Um, and so what you can do is make adjustments to film. The good news here is that for film shooters, this is a much more powerful tool for inverting negatives for film, but to use it as a an invert option for infrared photos, not so good anymore. So basically, you're, you're going to want to stick to the color calibration uh, color calibration to do a channel mixer style swap or the color balance RGB to do a hue shift. Are there other ways to swap colors in Darktable? Let us know in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about infrared photography, check out my book, Color Doesn't Exist, a practical guide to infrared photography. It's full of details for photographers at all skill levels. Now available in print and ebook editions. Check it out at infraredbook.com. If you find these videos helpful on your infrared photography journey, like, subscribe, or comment. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.